Good morning, Rosa Parks. Today is Monday, February 24th, 2020. At this time, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, which today will be led by Mrs. Duffer's class. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Great job, Mrs. Duffer's class. Boys and girls, please remain standing for our moment of silence. So this is our last week of February, and so we are wrapping up the week, our month, of talking about the people that we love and care about. So I want us to take a few seconds today and bow our heads and think about all the people that we care about. It may be here, our family, it may be here at school, it may be grandparents, but let's take a few seconds and bow our heads and think about all the people we care about. Let's bow. Thank you. You may be seated. Today for lunch in the cafeteria, we are having honey barbecue rib sandwich, peanut butter and jelly encrustable with string cheese and graham crackers, tater tots, fruit, and milk. We have um, no students celebrating a birthday today. I'm just double checking. No students celebrating a birthday today and no staff celebrating a birthday today. It is time for our Fitbit moment. Remember, an active brain and an active body means we're ready to learn. So stand up, give yourself some space as we get fit. Good morning, boys and girls. Today, for our Fitbit moment, we're going to do some arm circles, and we're going to practice um, doing small arm circles and controlling our arms. So I'm going to flip the camera, and here we go. So put your arms out. Let's do some small circles for 10 seconds. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job, boys and girls. Let's remain standing for our moment of silence. Great job, boys and girls. You may be seated. Our top Waterford classrooms for last week, and in reading, we actually almost had a whole sweep of Team B, which is Miss Arshiro, Miss Mancourt, and Miss Rudisils, all making the top three, but Miss Mancourt's class came in fourth by just a few points. So our top four, because I'll celebrate that, like I said, Mrs. Mancourt's class came in fourth with like 380 points. Mrs. Duffer's class came in third with 384. Miss Rudisil's class came in second with 388 objectives, and Miss Arashiro's class came in thir first with 408. So great job to those four classrooms. We almost had a sweep. All right, in math, uh, we did have a little bit of a sweep in our top three classrooms. Um, in third place for math with 119 objectives met, great job to Miss Bertolet's class. In second place with 135 objectives met, great job Mrs. Duffer's class. And in first place by one objective, Mrs. Adams' class with 136 objective. Great job to those boys and girls. Remember, Waterford helps us get smarter and smarter every day. All right, for the first time ever, we had a classroom have 100% attendance, which is amazing. That means every boy and girl was at school every day all last week. So congratulations to the boys and girls in Mrs. Kessler's class. Great job having 100%. I'll show their picture right here. Great job, boys and girls. Remember, we want you to be here at school every day when you're healthy and ready to learn as much as possible. All right, so I'm gonna scoot over because I'm blocking some of his names. So in our African American History Month, today we're gonna talk about General Colin Powell. And so General Powell was one of the first African American generals of the United States military. He was also a national security advisor for presidents. He was the Secretary of State, and he was the first African American to hold that role. And that's a very important role because that means he goes to other countries and helps protect and work with United States with other countries. He um, has also considered a run for president before, um, but has now kind of said he's probably a little too old to do that. But no matter what, regardless of what he looked like or the color of his skin, Colin Powell worked really hard to move up the ranks to be the most successful army soldier he could be. So 
He was the Joint Chiefs of Staff. He was the head of the military during um, a war in Iraq in the early 90s. Um, he accomplished many, many things that a lot of times people would have said, you can't do because you're different. So today we honor and we want to be like General Colin Powell. He's hardworking. He never let anyone tell him he couldn't do something just because of the color of his skin. All right, friends, it is going to be a marvelous Monday. As always, I want you to treat people right and do the right thing. Let's listen to our teachers. Let's follow directions and we'll have a great day. Bye, everybody.